Hey guys, this is Juice, and one of our viewers recommended that I jump into the Apache after he saw all the positive information I was having about 2.9 and using DLSS, so I thought I would do that. I jumped into an instant action here on the Marianas map, and because uh, that gives me a chance to really evaluate a couple of things. So right off the bat, I am in the cockpit right now, and I'm getting... Looking straight ahead, I'm getting right at about 95 to 100 frames. In the history I have with this map is I was getting um, I was getting about 40 frames average for uh, when I had my 1080 Ti and my old rig 8700K, and now with the 12900K and the 3080 Ti, I was able to get up to around 50 to 70, maybe 80 frames per second. Well, now, all around the whole island, I'm getting 90 to 100 to 120. And you got to realize, I have my frames capped at 144 right now. I'm getting ready to turn that down to 140 just to see if that helps keep the buffer close to the max fresh refresh rate of my monitor. But I am going to, uh, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm getting on this right here because you can see it. Now, I'm looking out here, I'm getting... You know, 60, low, high 60s, low 70s, and 80s right now. Uh, and in a minute, I'll take the uh, the eye hats away or the monocle, the helmet HMD. I'll take the monocle away, and you'll be able to see a little bit better. And I'm looking over there right now. I'm getting uh, around 65, 70. If I go outside, I'm getting 50s, looking towards the city. But if I zoom out away from the helicopter a little bit, look at that. I'm getting up into the hundreds, peeking in the hundreds there and everything. So... So this is really good. I used to get uh, maybe 50 to 70 max. Now I'm getting 70 up to 100 in some situations. When I take the eye heads out, of course, you know, you got more stuff in your eyes, more stuff in the cockpit. I look straight down here, you see it get really good, but when it's rendering the stuff outside. So I went around and I was looking for any of the tearing or any of the streaking, uh, any of the glitching. or I'm not getting any stutter. Of course, this is single player on my machine. I'm not dealing with anybody else on the internet not dealing with any IP issues and stuff like that so I guess I could say it's a success uh, really don't haven't noticed anything you know when I do multiplayer it's always uh, the most we've ever had is 10 12 guys because we we basically break down the mission and, and simulate all the extra stuffs out there but uh, when I go on multiplayer servers like some of the World War II servers, and when I used to fly with Tactical DCS, we'd have, you know, 40 people on, and I didn't have an issue, and that was back with the old system, the 8700K and stuff. So I don't think uh, I don't think this is going to be an issue for me. Now, I do ha have my specs in the, in, below, in the description below, and if you guys go in and check that out, you'll see what I'm dealing with for hardware right now. This is on 2D. I'm using uh, face track no IR and a 1440p monitor, 27 inch, and I am using a webcam right now just to track my head movement. See, I can do all this, and I can do this, and look around, pull that circuit breaker back there, and uh, if you guys can hear it, I don't think you can hear it, but my chair squeaks a little bit. I've got the next level racing uh, Boeing sim seat that they sent me for an evaluation, and some people on my iPhone, when I was doing iPhone videos, they said they could hear the squeak because the microphone was so sensitive. But let me know if you guys hear a squeak in the chair. I'll probably be able to listen to the video and be able to tell. So I go around, I just do a little loop around the island, and again, if you guys saw my video that came out yesterday, you'll see that uh, deleting the Meta Shaders 2 and loading the... Uh, I just briefly switched to the front seat. Loading the... Um, and deleting the FXO and then allowing them to reload, giving them time to reload in the game, uh, really helps out quite a bit. Now, for those of you that are wondering, how do I launch into multi-thread? Well, if you're on standalone and you've had the open beta and you upgraded to the open beta 2.9, your launch uh, shortcut will launch you into multiplayer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry multi-thread. Now, if you launch in at the main menu, look down on the lower right, and you'll see it'll say multi-thread preview, and it'll have the version number 2.9 point, you know, dot, dot, blah, 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 blah. And uh, so that's how you could tell. Now, if you've previously been launching in, in standard, uh, stable, single-thread uh, open beta, and you want to do that for 2.9, you'll have to go into your bin folder in the game files and find the executable D DCS EXE.
So I put the eye heads in again here so I can see my height above the water. Right now we're about 15 feet. We're going down, and I and the the, the crew chief told me that the uh, back wheel was a little dirty. If he asked me if I could wash it for him, last time I stuck it in some mud on a maneuver on an I was on an operation. So I told him I would do that. I'd go clean it off. So I went ahead and dipped it in a couple times here in the water, just to get a little clean. I was able to get it to actually float on the water for a little bit. So I hope he's happy. Somebody should have told the mission maker who made this that they should take their night vision goggles off for the daytime. Put them in the protective case. So it's looking really good. I can say this is probably the most challenging map that I've seen so far with uh, DCS World optim optimiz optimization wise. But I would also say that Syria had some issues when it first came out. And look at the level of detail. I think it's really good that we're getting, you know, 100 frames per second uh, in most situations with this. So I'm going to go outside and let's, let's watch this approach and landing here. Let's check this out. All right, here we coming in. Here we are coming into the LZ to see what the uh, the dust effects look like. I think I realize that I'm a little too close to that uh, to that windsock, so I go ahead and drift off. There we go. Come off laterally. Yeah, I don't know. I I guess you have to have you got to have the right amount of effects to get the uh, to get the dust coming up. Got to get close enough to the ground and watch it. So. This is a fun helicopter to fly. I really enjoy flying the Apache. Pretty smooth. Like I said, DLSS is engaged. I have uh, screen space shadows triple S disengaged or turned off. I also have shadows set to flat only to help save a little bit. So you can see the flat shadow down there. And it's pretty good. I So far, uh, I have been very happy with this and I know that uh, it's only going to improve so for those of you that are having issues or anything like that, be sure to watch the video that came out yesterday. Go through the checklist. Uh, go read the FAQ that's linked into the description and, uh, and see if you can work something out with your settings. Uh, if you're part of a community or a group, that's the best way is to go into one of these uh, groups like Tactical DCS um, you know, and, and others and basically get with somebody and, and say, hey, I need some help. There's a lot of communities out there that will help guys work on the graphics. We always learn from everybody else's successes and mistakes. So I hope you guys learned something from, uh, from my videos. And if you do, give them a thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you want. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.